Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video I explain to you, a wonderful and simple tool, that you can use to change the time, date and time steps of files and folders. It is very wonderful and easy to use, and of course you can change the date created, for the folder and file, and also modify or change the date modified, and date accessed. We will learn about all of this, step by step. And this tool is called SK Timestamp, and I will leave you a link to download the tool, in the video description. It is a free tool. Install it in a very easy way, and without many settings. After completing the installation process for SK Timestamp, all you have to do now, is choose the folder or file for which you want, to modify the creation date, or change date modified or date accessed. For example, I want to make some modifications to the timestamps on the file called Go, right click on it, and select properties. When properties window opens, you will find a new tab, called timestamps, this tab is for the tool we installed. Click on it. Under this tab, you can modify three timestamps, which are creation, modification, and access. Modify the creation date, and also the creation time according to the time and date you want, and click on the apply button, and immediately if you notice, the creation date on the file, will change. In the same way, you can change the last modified date, whether the date or time. Select the date and time you want, and click on the apply button. Also, notice the date modified change, in front of the file we are working on, which is called Go. And with the same steps, change the last accessed, and this will change the date accessed, for the file we are working on now. It is a simple, easy and very fast method. Although there are many ways to do this. However, the SK Timestamp tool, is lightweight and easy to use. Here if you click on the touch button, the current time will be set, for both date modified and date accessed, this is a quick explanation of this useful tool. Try it and I will leave you the download link, in the video description. Thank you for watching. I hope the video is useful to you. I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.